day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. And, and, you know and, and, and that's it. And then know that he has to get behind you because the authority and the power that you have within you. You just know without a doubt that that situation is already taken care of. Exactly. You lose here in the name of Jesus. And the you know, authority given me by Jesus. Get behind me. Get behind me. And you know what? You know, I got a revelation God gave me while we was talking uh, that I want to share with you guys. And, and I guess it started with a question and then I'm going to answer myself. How, how would the demon know Paul? And, and, and I, I probably, I think we all have an understanding why he would know Jesus. But was he really mean the individual or the authority? The authority. That they're operating the authority. In? You see where I'm coming from? They yeah, can't, can't, can't say they personally know Paul. Right? Yep. But they can recognize that authority. Yeah. They, yeah, they recognize what's, a, what's tied to Paul. You see, now we're talking, brother. They recognize what's tied to Paul. So, Paul was no different than Jesus come when on. it came to that demonic force. Hey, come on. So, so Paul and Jesus Woo. are one. Woo. Come on. That's what the Bible tells us. It's My different. father and I are one. He no knows. different than what Jesus said. Come on. Is, but isn't that what he says about us too? Well, isn't what Jesus yeah. said that isn't we that what first Jesus, of many that brethren? Did he no. say first of many brethren, uh, elders? Yeah. First of many brethren, many brethren operating on the authority of God. Yeah. The body manifestation. Christ. That's the body. I hope Christ. somebody listened to this video. The manifestation, brother Addison, you brought up for the question, and I think we, I think we done nailed it over and over again. It's the authority. Yeah. The name is the authority, not yeah. literally the name. They not only here. But I hope they get the I, my my prayers that they get the revelation Come on. that's hidden in these words that we yes, speak. That, that they get the, the 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 wisdom, the knowledge, and the Ooh. understanding. Come on. Because we are powerful beings <laughs> in this world. Yes, sir. We recognize Ooh. what's within us. I, I'm I'm just I, I'm on you cloud see. nine right now. 10, no, 10. I'm on cloud 10. 11, yeah. 12, 13. I'm on all the clouds. <laughs> Come on, brother. Because when I was putting that together, I, hey, bro, look, when I was putting that together, man, I was sitting there. I was always ready to shop myself. Yeah. I was sitting there getting I said, let me go get these slides for the brother. And, and, and I, you know, I was kind of getting into it, like, in the name of Jesus, you know, and, and then, then they start that revelation. He said, the authority. He's talking about the authority. And I was like, Oh, yes, because <laughs> it changed the whole meaning when I started getting into understanding his name. Yeah. We were sitting there, we were sitting there focused on, should I say, I cast you out in the name of Jesus? I cast, I heal you in the name of Jesus? I, 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 you know, we, I was thinking about the name. You see what I'm saying? This? And then it, it, the study was pushing and said, no, the authority. It's all been about the authority. Yeah, the same authority he walked in is, is residing within us. It's just yeah. get out. Yeah. Get behind me. Come on. Be healed. Come on. Open your eyes. Yes, sir. Under the authority. Get some wisdom. Yeah. Idiot, sick. be loose. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and we got the commission. We got the great commission. We read it. You've been sent. You know, one scripture that worship him was worship him in spirit and in truth. So there's no, no, there's no, you know, short selling the truth and whatever it is that we're doing. Nope. Uh, because we're operating in his authority and he is the truth. Yeah. So it, it encompasses, even in Black Lives Matter, it encompasses the rest of the story. Jesus died for all men. Come out of fact, all we died for yes, the sir. world. And so when we address issues concerning that, 
it's like from the perspective that we stand in, from the you know the spin that we put on it, there's no spin at all. Is yeah. that yes, these people died, and this was an atrocity. This was murder. But now we're also concerned about the life and the eternal life for them yes, for the people who perpetrated the crime. We are as concerned about their souls as we were concerned about the souls of the ones that have gone before them. And when we look at it from that perspective, then I think we bring it home to it, to to, to where Christ wants it. This is an eternal uh, endeavor that we engage in. We're not just looking for a person, betterment of a person's life in this earth. We want them to live forever. Mm -hmm. And if it takes him going to the needle or whatever it is that's got to take place in this man's life or just straight out forgiveness, and, and no repercussion for his action. We need that cop saved. Yeah. We need that cop saved. We need his soul. We don't want Satan to have two for one on that day. You know, yeah. he took the life, the earthly life of this man. Perhaps his soul was in place. But the eternal life of this cop is not in danger of being lost. And we need to be fighting for that right now. And we, right. In other words, we need him to understand that if you try to operate under the authority of white, of being white. You're outside the will of Christ. Amen. You're outside the will of God. If if a black person is even trying to operate under the, the what you call the authority of black, you're operating outside the will of God. God wants all of us to understand it's his will, his authority, his name that Amen. we're supposed to operate in. The church Lord. is going to and will to operate and be successful. And God don't need, he'll need, if, if half of the church want to act stupid, it does not stop the will of God. Not stop him, yeah. And you know what, I'll give her a say something too. Another thing is, yeah, I said I read the, the website of Black Lives Matter. Most people have not read it. Here's the point. Because most people don't need to read it. Because most people that are Christians are probably recognizing that this is the movement of God. Not the movement of somebody who wrote something on the website who did not put it out for everybody else to look at and coordinate with. Right? It, 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 didn't, it didn't come in. I didn't get an agreement. Nobody told me to agree to that. Nobody told me to, to approve it. And I ain't talking about me personally. I'm talking about as a collective body. That was not put out to be agreed on because you know what? That does not matter. The yeah, whole... that that is just that that is to appease to society. That yeah. website. Come on, brother. But if you of a color, you understand that black lives matter. Exactly. You, you you don't need to read no bylaws, <laughs> no 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 rules of engagement. Come on. No nothing. You <laughs> already understand that black lives matter because your life matters. Your life matters. And your and child's think, life matters. Yeah, yeah. And that's all you need to understand when it comes to Black Lives Matter. You don't need to get into the details of of some organization or anything like that. You, you may be tied to that because of your color and that only. Mm -hmm. You're right. It's not, it's not put out there. It's not like the word of God, which we have. So yeah. we should have not an excuse. We have the word, Elder. And we need to they submit do. to the word, like you said. But we need to understand, and I, um, Jimmy's not here, but the scripture, like you said, it said, come as you are, is that parable, go to the highways and byways. Get the good, the bad, and the ugly. Right. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Invite him. Invite him to dinner. Come, white. <laughs> come as you are, basically, because I got a garment for you. Yes, sir. And that's the whole point. So next time I get him, I'll remember that too. Remember he said, remember I said last week, he said, he ain't nothing that said come as you are. Well, I got a parable that said come as you are. It says black, white, good, bad, ugly. <laughs> does, that make, does that make sense? You gotta have the right clothes on. <laughs> and then you can't come in there with the right, with the wrong clothes either. That's right. You, that wedding. you gotta put on the clothes, the clothes, what is it? Clothes be washed in the blood of the lamb. No, the clothes is provided. It's you see what I'm saying? It's provided. It's provided. And, that's why, and we They're can, provided. And, and, and it's and it's not a, an external thing. It's a, it's an internal thing. It's a, oh, come on. Here. It, 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 it ain't got nothing to do with this this flesh. Come on. <laughs> it really ain't. It, you know, and it's the authority uh, that's not in this world, but out of this world. Mm -hmm. Come on. 
Hey, say Elvis, let's get a communion and let's go ahead and pray out. But I think we hit, you think we nailed it, brother? Uh, Addison on that one? I think we got I into have nothing to participate with. I'm in the huh? hotel. I got the brain. <laughs> you, you said what? I said I have nothing to participate in communion with. I, I'm in a hotel. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> you got what, Brother Addison? Do I have what? Communion. The communion. Oh, well, we, we, we don't have to do communion today if you don't have to. If you don't I don't have, have it. To, uh, the communion uh, things, do it in the spirit. <laughs> you can do it in the spirit. You're in the spirit with us. I, I'll do it real quick, y'all. I'll just do it. Because I On think the it's day that he would be great. The night that he would be great. Because you got to remember, the whole purpose of doing it is remembrance of him. Amen, man. Hey, look, I think, I think I, based on this study today, it's remembrance of his authority. <laughs> Which is remembering him. Woo! Lord, pray that we continue to hold on to this as we walk away from this place. Yes. Uh, Elder, go ahead and pray, pray for our cup. Pray for the community. Since you can't physically, you can pray through it. On the night that we were betrayed, he took bread. He blessed it and gave it to his disciples. Break it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat all of you. But this is my body which shall be broken for you. And so he took and they ate it. Amen. Maybe neat. And when supper was ended, again he took the cup. He gave thanks and praise. He blessed it. Gave it to his disciples and said, Take, drink, all of you. But this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It shall be shared for you and for all men, so that sins may be forgiven. Whenever you do this, do it in remembrance of me. And so they drank. In accordance with my Catholic brothers, and so we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Amen. And we're going to be in his authority. So I think that's the nail for the day. And matter of fact, Brother Matt Allison, I think that's just changed the whole perspective we're thinking anyway. Yeah. Yes. We need to it just remember good. we're walking under authority. Yes. Yeah. And we are submitting, like Elder Johnson, of authority and allow his authority to do hey that was jesus i had one in scripture here we kind of talk about thursday jesus said and to lazarus he said father i know you always hear me Amen. Yeah. but i'm saying this so they can hear but the fact is the day in my fact he even said the whole purpose that is so that they know that you sent you see what I'm saying? I'm starting to see a pattern here. Yeah. If, if, it, if what we do don't turn back to glorify God, if it, it doesn't work. work back to God, it's nothing. It's right. It's vain. It's vanity. It's vanity. vanity. Yeah, yeah. That, that's it, Elder. It's, it's self-promotion. Yep. It's self-promotion. Anything out, outside of that is self-promotion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the only way a person can gain salvation is if they come to Christ. He is come the door. On. He so anything that, that we do that doesn't bring glory to him, <laughs> it's a waste of time because they never get, time. those are not saved from drawing people to me. Yeah. Or my doctrine or anything. It's, 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 it's really not. Yeah. It's not. But, think, but, 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 but but people are trying to do that. Yep. Right. We, do, we love the devil. You know, we, get, we come up with the names. The name so-and-so, name so-and-so. It's Jesus. It's That's the only one that counts. It's the only door you can get in through. Because he said all power. Wait a he said all power is given unto wow. me. Amen. Maybe I should have said authority. Amen. Authority. Amen. Authority of God. Maybe I need to start Amen. even changing the name of ministry. The authority of God through Jesus Amen. Christ. Hallelujah. We walk we in authority. Huh? Let's get tight. See, we're tapping it off. We're getting tight. We're about to do some work now. Oh, man. <laughs> anyway, I want y'all to have a good week and hopefully we we'll meet together on Thursday. You know? And you be safe in your travels. Yeah, stay stay safe here, Elder. Uh, well, I ask you I ask you on 